this is probably a scene that you're familiar with. Squirrels stealing from your bird feeders and running around your parks and your neighborhoods. But there may be more to these animals than being just crafty backyard acrobats. Join me as you learn a little bit more about these amazing but very common animals that you might see in your own backyard. Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm a naturalist here at Penitentiary Glen Nature Center. And we're going to be looking at some of the squirrels that we can find in this park and even in your neighborhoods. So to do this, some of these squirrels are pretty camera shy. So we're going to head into the Nature Center to take a closer look at the squirrels we can find in our area. This display has some great taxidermy of the squirrels we can find here in our area. Up first is the Eastern Gray Squirrel, which you might recognize from the very beginning of this video. They come in both gray and black. These black squirrels are just melanistic gray squirrels, which means they have extra pigment in their fur, kind of like the opposite of being albino. They have found that these black squirrels are more often found in northern states where it gets colder because that extra melanin actually generates more warmth, so that trait is more advantageous than it would be in Florida, for example. The other common squirrel that you'll recognize is this eastern fox squirrel. They are very common urban squirrels and have adapted amazingly well to city life as well as their natural environment. They have a deep orange color and tails even fluffier than a gray squirrel's. A squirrel's tail can help shelter them from rain or snow, keep them warm like a blanket in the winter, it can even help cool them off during the summer. They also use them for balance and for communication. This next squirrel is one not seen quite as often because they don't do as well in urban environments. They thrive here at the park and do well in more heavily wooded areas and neighborhoods. These squirrels are much smaller than the gray and fox squirrels, but what they lack in size, they make up for in spunk. These little guys will often win in a fight with the fox or gray squirrel. Now this squirrel is one that you likely have never seen. I haven't even been able to catch a glimpse of one after looking for years. This is the Southern Flying Squirrel. Believe it or not, this squirrel is believed to be the most common squirrel in Ohio. These little guys are nocturnal and very good at keeping a low profile, so they're rarely seen. They use this extra skin on their sides to help glide from tree to tree or down safely to the ground. And of course, you'll recognize this last one, the Eastern Chipmunk. While they aren't what you picture when you hear squirrel, these little guys are in the squirrel family. Over the winter, you may get a few glimpses of them on nice days, but most of the time, the chipmunks will be down underground in their elaborate burrows. They have bedrooms, pantries where they've stocked up on food, and even a bathroom. So you might notice that you have one or two of these species by your house, or maybe by the park you visit often, uh, but not the others, and that's pretty normal. Um, some neighborhoods might only have fox squirrels, for example. Um, so if you are interested in seeing all these species of squirrels, I recommend coming here to Penitentiary Glen, where we have all of these types of squirrels. Um, now, if you are out looking around, you might not see all these squirrels on a day. Um, it's possible if you come in the summer and if you come at night, you might be able to hear a flying squirrel. But there's all these other ways to see if there's squirrel activity in your area. So you can look for some symmetrical footprints in the snow, um, bounding footprints. Uh, you could also look for uh, drays or squirrel nests, which are those big leafy nests that you see up in trees. Uh, they're very obvious in the winter time because you can't, the, the leaves are not obscuring your view of them. You can also look for little piles of nuts that squirrels leave around. So there's a lot of ways to see squirrel activity in your area and in your neighborhood. So please follow Lake Metro Parks for more information like this and uh, visit our parks.